Previously on Burn Residency, Paco Osuna and Carl Leo made their mark at the boot camp, while Pete Tong took time for one-on-one conversations with the DJs. It's once in a lifetime you meet Pete Tong so close to have a chat with him. With the boot camp quickly approaching its final day, who better than Carl Cox and Pete Tong to share their perspectives on the meaning of winning a residency in Ibiza? Well, how I feel about my residency is the same as when I started. I'm still uh, I'm enthusiastic, still have the passion. I still want to give people the very best time possible based on what I do. Uh, and that's the very thing that's kept this thing going. I'm lucky to have them uh, talking about their experience because I, I feel really identified with uh, their careers. The power of residence is that actually by being at the same place, same time every week, you do get you get these these personalities can like really kind of come out. Getting some small parts of their experiences is, is a huge thing for me. The, 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 the thing is, things do move on. The trends do move on, sounds move on, and you have to basically be aware of what you do next. But when you do a residency, you can basically tune that to where you think it should go next. They are obviously so experienced, I can listen to them for days. Probably look at Ibiza and think it's like overcrowded with DJs, but there's still no better place in the world to kind of forge your reputation in here. Sebastian, Una, and Goldfish are among the final guests of this year's boot camp. The DJs are collecting every little piece of priceless advice while they still can. People are harsh critics. You've got to develop a tough skin, be uh, ready for setbacks and failures as well. It's okay to fail and, and to learn from that. And the most important thing is not, you know, they say that saying, it's not how many times you get knocked down, it's how many times you get up. Being constantly under pressure to prove themselves as top level performers takes a lot of hard work and very little sleep. Taking a yoga moment to relax and stay healthy comes in just at the right time. I usually work out, I mean, going to gym and uh, going to basketball, but I never did yoga and it was a really good experience for me. It's really important to have a healthy life for, for a DJ because you are constantly traveling around the world, standing behind the decks a lot of hours. So. I think I'm gonna start doing sports more often that will help me a lot through my career also and in life. After a long day, Philip has gathered the DJs for an important announcement. As tomorrow we have our last day and Carl Cox will be with us, we defined this uh, challenge for tomorrow old versus new. So every one of you should play one new track with an old track. This is a pretty important one because after that we're going to evaluate all the results and we'll announce also who will be able to stay on the island with us and who not. It's a bit nerve-wracking but I wouldn't say it's scary. I have an impression that Carl Cox likes me so we'll see tomorrow if that's true or false. I am excited and I'm nervous about this. I've worked a lot to be here. I think I deserve to be here. After two very exciting and emotional weeks, we are finally here. Somebody calls this Elimination Day.